Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Yost. Um, <laughs> I wrote the movie Speed. I want to thank Tai Singh for inviting us to uh, say a few words at your Forbidden Worlds Film Festival. Wish we could be there. Uh, with me today is Mark Gordon, the producer of the movie. And we're just... Hi, everybody. 30 years. I wasn't, I wasn't invited, but Graham invited me. So I will I will just thank you all for, for inviting Graham, who invited me. What did you always say the, the job of the producer was? Friend of writer. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> um, so yeah, 30 years ago. Well, for me, it started, you know, before that. My dad, who had a TV show in Canada all about movies, he said he'd heard about a Kurosawa script about a train that couldn't slow down or to blow up. And that became the movie Runaway Train. But I saw it and I came out and I thought, well, there's no bomb. They just couldn't get to the brakes. And I thought it'd be better if it was a bus. And so that kind of stuck in my head. And I just had my first writing job, which was for uh, Hey Dude on Nickelodeon. And uh, I was trying to get staffed on a, on a, you know, a half hour comedy. And my agent said, I think I can staff you, but uh, there's nothing happening for a few months. So I thought, well, I'll write this movie that I had been tinkering around with my brain. It took like a year to get the deal done at Paramount. We developed it at Paramount. They, they put it in turnaround, which is when they give it back to you and decide they don't want to make the movie. We sold the project to Fox. Um, we attached Jan de Bont, uh, Keanu, and and uh, Sandy Bullock, who, you know, sadly, we weren't able to get Halle Berry uh, or <laughs> Billy Baldwin for the leads. So we ended up with Keanu and Sandy. It just goes to show you the, uh, the, the fact that, what is it? You're... It's smarter to be lucky than it's lucky to be smart. We we just kind of stepped in it. There were so many things that had to happen, you know, for it all to just go the way it did, including, you know, getting those two in the movie. The first preview, we went to the first preview, uh, and we it was it was unbelievable. It was the first time that we showed the uh, picture to an audience, and they were sort of it was crazy. It, the response was unbelievable. And Tom Sherrick, God rest his soul, who was the head of distribution at Fox, came out and said, we're going to open this on this date. And we looked at him and said, are you crazy? We're going to be going up against City Slickers, too. They're going to and, slaughter And Flintstones, us. too. And <laughs> Flintstones, too. And it was like, it's going to be a bloodbath. And he goes, no, let me tell you something. This movie is going to be a giant hit. One thing he said... He knew it was going to be a hit because when people were leaving the the to go to the bathroom, they would right. go out walking backwards, so they could see as much. I don't of remember the film that. That's great. Could. And then they oh. turn, run through the door, go to the bathroom, and run back in. That's that is that is fantastic. One of the last times I saw it was with you in uh, Charlottesville at a festival on a yeah. big screen, and it's fun to see it on a big screen. It really was made. I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to seeing it again. You know what? We should screen it for ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. Hope everybody has a great time and enjoys yeah. the film. Enjoy uh, speed. Enjoy the festival. Making it. Thanks for inviting us. Take care. Bye, everybody. Hello there. My name is Jan de Bond, and I'm the director of Speed. By the way, I think you tonight might be the first audience who will see my movie in a gigantic IMAX theater on a gigantic IMAX screen something i always wanted to really really experience never succeeded i'm a little jealous of you anyway so you probably all know i worked on quite a few big action movies and, and as a director of photography i loved doing it i had a great time and but then the more you do it the more you learn and the more you think i thought was actually i think i can improve it. I can make this do this and that should be done that. I, I wanted to make it more intense, more more dramatic, more with more feeling and more emotion and and not just only technical. And that's why I started looking for for a project. A project that I really, really could do for myself and, and could find out what it would be, how how you could actually do that or maybe should do. And by pure coincidence, I, I, I found an old version of the speed script at the Paramount Studios cancelled film projects. 
really exist. Every studio has drawers of that, many of them. And I started reading it and I loved it. I could not, I could immediately, immediately ima imagine how great it could be and I, how, what the great action movie could make it into. So I was so excited, but Paramount Studio was not into it. They wasn't interested at all. They thought it would become just a slow bus movie and nobody would want to see that. Can you imagine? Of course, the thing is that Hexa Studios never ride in buses, you know, they, 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 they go in fancy, fancy limos. But because if they would have driven the bus at that speed, they would have realized that on the LA freeway, where the average speed is not more than maximum 30 miles, it would be close to impossible for a bus to, to get to, to the speed. And therefore, it would be anything but boring. Okay, well, Paramount out, Fox in. Studios love big name actors, but I wanted the lesser known actors. I wanted the lesser known non-action hero type actors. I wanted them to look and feel like regular people who happen to find themselves in extreme circumstances and kind of against, and even against them, will become accidental heroes. Those are interesting people, characters. Keanu Reeves at the time was still a bit pretty unknown and, and had very little experience in action, and, but he had a great energy and he had a great physical presence. He also could bring that kind of everyday quality to the screen and every man quality to the screen. Sandra, we choose simply because she's amazing very compelling human being and a lover, but most important, I believe she could actually drive the bus. Amazing, no? Dennis Hopper, Jack Daniels, John Martin and Alan Rapp, who was a sporting cast, all very talented actors and they would become a incredible supportive base around these young two stars and they would help them with everything, any problematic issue they would come and they helped each other out but they also would bring some lightness to the movie because action movies need some lightness lighter moments once in a while but what i did tell any of those cast members was that i really wanted them the actors to do their own stunts of course i didn't tell this to the studio uh, they were probably cut me out of the movie and, and I would have the end, of, the end of my career. I waited until quite a few days before filming so that it finally, so that they could not stop anymore. They could not stop the movie anymore. And the reason I was asking the actors to do this and to become, an, as, in a way, do their own stunt, to become their own stuntman, because in, in stunt movie, in action movies, stuntmen and women always take over from the actors. and. Stunts are just mechanical things, objects, and you just you can, uh, and you do everything perfect, but you never ever get to see the actors doing it and see what how they would respond. And actors are human beings too. So when something like that happens, they would respond and they would respond in a way that is really believable, really amazing. And that was the thing I always was most more interested in. And I knew that it would be ultimately it would make action movies more interesting and exciting. But you can never ask your actors to do something that you wouldn't do yourself. So <laughs> I got an idea that so with, uh, with all safety measures in place and and my stunt coordinator talked to him and, and they pre prepped me and, and I was safety. I decided to try the stunts out myself first and let them watch. I wasn't, I wasn't very good, of course, and, and definitely not very convincing. I mean, I'm not an actor, but I knew that actors seeing me doing that would respond with that they would do that much better. And that's exactly what I wanted. And that's exactly what they said. It was so great to, to hear them say that. Lucky for me, many of the actors went for it as well. And, and not just because they liked, they liked the thrill of it, but because they understood that what I tried to achieve Action and reaction became one. And that is like exactly what I always had in mind. That has, those things have to be combined. Whether this is the first time you see speed or whether you've seen it many times before, I hope that you will see it 
again and loved again tonight on this really big screen. It might be a lot more exciting and a lot more bigger than life, but I am happy you okay. came. Um, I, I am happy and thankful that you were fans for, after 30 years, still are fans of the movie. And hopefully you will love it now. Forbidden Worlds, also actually congratulations to Forbidden World Film Festival, which I love the name of. I think it's such a great name for a festival. Um, congratulations to them and I wish I was there with you. Have fun.